I've got two cameras going. I want to do some editing, so bear with me. Hi, fabulous fiber friends. It is Wednesday, February 6th, and I am very late in recording my Vogue Knitting Live New York update. Like so many others that attended the event, I ended up at home with the flu, so I've been sick all, for the past week, so I haven't been able to record. I would really prefer to be in some nice knitwear, um, but this is it today. <coughs> Excuse me, I still have my cough. But I'm dying to record. Um, first, thank you to those of you that, that came up and said hello to me. I was so flattered that a few of you are subscribers or you follow me on Instagram and that you came up and said hello and it really meant a lot to me. Thank you so much. I was quite surprised actually <laughs> that someone said, oh, you're KD Gecko," And I thought, I, oh, what, what, who, what, yes? Oh, me, me, yes, that's me. So thank you so much. That was really great. Great fun to meet everyone. Well, thank you so much to all my new subscribers, uh, YouTube subscribers and my new Instagram followers. Thank you. I look forward to seeing all of your finished objects and works in progress and uh, taking you along my journey. Vogue Knitting Live New York is unbelievable. The energy is crazy. I have been to the Vogue Knitting Live in Los Angeles, actually Pasadena, and that was very mellow and sedate. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I went up to the one in San Francisco several months ago. Vogue Knitting San Francisco was better than the Los Angeles Vogue Knitting, but it still didn't come close to the energy that the New York uh, VKL. The energy is amazing. The knitters, the knit Yorkers are just so, I, I guess like anything New York, right? It's intense, it's, 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 urban, it's, it's um, palpable, I mean the energy and, and the camaraderie and the knitters and everyone, it's really, really, really great. I was just in heaven. I, and I have to say it was actually overwhelming, um, but so fabulous, so, so, so fabulous. So I started off, I arrived Wednesday night, <coughs> many delays due to air traffic control and the government shutdown and all of that. So a few of us, Mr. Hugs and I, we were texting and they were delayed and we were delayed. I got in at 2 a.m. and arriving at 2 a.m., one benefit is that you get there, you get into the city from the airport, you get into the city very quickly. So that was a, that was a plus. Uh, Thursday, I had never been to Nitty City. So I took a long walk, went up to Nitty City just to get stretch out my legs after a long plane ride, especially after all the delays. It was drizzling. Okay, knitters, I'm taking a walk. I need some exercise, so let's take a little stroll through Manhattan. I've just arrived in Columbus Circle. Let me turn this around so you can get a better look. Okay, we're at Lincoln Center. Thursday, uh, it was quiet. I had the Mayak event. Mayak held a great event at their space down in, uh, I don't know if it's the meatpacking, it's in the village, I don't know. I'm not familiar with which, is it the meatpacking part of the district? Is it the West Village? I'm not sure what it's called. But it's a very, very beautiful space. It's really a gorgeous space. Um, two stories, two floors, gorgeous space. And Melanie Berg and Isabel Kramer were there, along with a lot of the local knitterati and those from out of town, you know, different designers from around the country. So I had such a great time. I met a lot of people. Actually, what was kind of cool, you know, I follow so many people on Instagram or on YouTube, 
and I took the subway down to the village uh, and I'm looking at my phone and trying to figure out, you know, okay, where is this space? And it, it was kind of, it, I had to walk quite a few blocks, I don't know, six or eight blocks. And so I thought, okay, where am I going? And I'm going the wrong direction. And anyway, so I think I'm on the right path and I'm chugging along and I'm coming upon someone that's pulling a suitcase, a, a small suitcase. And as I'm passing this person, I think, gee, that person looks familiar. Hey, I know you from YouTube. It was Corrado. We walked together, so it was great to meet him. Hi, Corrado. Uh, it was really great to meet him in person. And that was the fabulous thing about Vogue Knitting New York. I got to meet all these great people in person that I, you know, that we socialize here in virtual land. Uh, so it was really a lot of fun to meet these people up close and personal and give hugs and all of that. So Corrado and I, we went to the event, we entered together, which was really nice because I was a little apprehensive you know, I'm new to this New York community and even to the social media in knitting, I'm new here as well. And so I was a little nervous to go in alone. So it was great to have someone to walk in with. And everyone was so warm. And Corrado ran into people he knew and he introduced me around. Then Christy Glass came and I've met Christy before. And so she introduced me around. And it, it, it was just so, so loving and so wonderful. So the event was amazing. Uh, one of my main reasons for attending the event or wanting to attend the event is that I wanted to see the yarn. I've never seen their particular brand of yak yarn and some of it's cashmere they have cashmere as well so i went to the event and yes 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 i made a purchase crinkle crinkle i've got crinkly paper here it's still in its packaging but actually christy glass had interviewed the ladies from mayak and she wore a sweater that i fell in love with and it's the river stroll by kirsten kapoor Okay, I'm the Mayak label, right? This is burgundy and a burnt orange. Look at how stunning those are together. I mean, they're really, really gorgeous together. And of course, a nice blue pink, which is good for me, the cool pinks. And actually, this color falls outside of my um, complexion color scheme. I am a cool complected person, so cool colors look better on me. But the placement of this warm color with the cool colors is a great contrast. And so it works really, really well together. So these are the colors. Okay, those are the colors that are going into this lovely sweater. So I'm so excited about that. So the event was amazing and I had just the best time. We hung out for a few hours, everyone's chatting and hugging and kissing and it was really just so lovely. And again, everyone was warm and welcoming and you know, I was a newbie to the group and every all the, the knitters were just so lovely. Everyone was really, really wonderful. So I really had a great time and I keep saying really, really, really. Friday, I went to the marketplace. Oh, I had hooked up Mr. Hugs and I. Let me tell you, Mr. Hugs, I think I assumed, oh, he loves giving hugs, that's why he's called Mr. Hugs. But so he and I met at the Marriott Marquis, which is where Vogue Knitting Live took place. Mr. Hugs gives the warmest, cuddly, meaningful hugs I have ever felt in my life. And I told my husband that. And he said, what does that mean he gives the best hugs? A, or no, a real hug, a proper hug. And I said, you know, some people just, they hug you and they like this, right? It's a little, uh, uh. I have a few girlfriends and actually I tease one of them. I said, what kind of hug is that? She barely, you know, kind of barely touches you. Mr. Hug gives you this wonderful bear hug and he really, he, it's a, he holds the hug and it's just so meaningful and really lovely. Mr. Hugs, you're the, you have got the best hugs in the whole world, Mr. Hugs. 
So if you ever have the opportunity, I'll get a hug from Mr. Hugs because he's really, he's just genuinely just super, super sweet. I really had a great time. So we hung out a little bit. We're watching the crowds. Everyone's lining up for the opening uh, of the marketplace doors at five o'clock. And so there's two huge lines going and the lines merge in the center. So uh, they wrap around the entire floor, these, these two lines, they become U-shaped <coughs> and they, they uh, hook up. And then the doors open and, and people just flood in. Um, but as people are standing in line, people are recognizing one another and embracing and, you know, it's just this really wonderful, loving community. It, it, it was just beyond my expectations, just the, um, the camaraderie, the love, uh, you know, just, just the warmth, um, the genuine, you know, just the sharing of this wonderful passion that we have in our community, our fiber community. So that was Friday. On Saturday, one of my highlights was meeting Shirley Padden. I, when I met her, I said, oh my God, I feel like I'm a kid at a rock concert, you know? I said, I'm really, I'm such a fan. I've been a fan of yours almost since I started knitting. And she says, oh, come on, come on. And, and I don't know if it was a, one of her children or something, but there were a couple guys there and they were taking video and shooting pictures. And she said, oh, come on, come on. And so she included me in some of the photographs that she was taking of her models and herself and just, and not just me, there were other people that were coming up to her and she was just so genuine and warm. And I really, oh my gosh. So meeting one of my superstars, Shirley Padden, I, as I put on my Instagram, I think Shirley Padden was my first knitting crush. I think a designer crush. Then Saturday night, a lot of knitters got together. We took um, the subway over to, um, I guess it's a part of Queens called Long Island City. I don't know if it, it's between Queens and Brooklyn or anyway. Um, so I took the subway over and we all met at a restaurant there. There were maybe a hundred people and that was great too. So I met some new people there several of us sitting together and we all share a love of literature and books. We love books and a lot of us because we love to read while we knit. We do the audio books and then we were all talking about how uh, we use, we utilize the library and so about a year ago I was always renting books and I said gee from the library, I borrow books from the library and I thought oh now I have the dilemma do I sit and read or do I knit? And I re I love both. I love reading. I love literature. I love fiction. I love English literature. I love historical fiction. And so it was a real dilemma. Oh my gosh, you know, read, knit, read, knit, read, knit. I called the library one day and I said, and I asked them, do you have books available on audio? And they said, yes. There's a new program called Libby. I guess the old one is called Overdrive, which some of the knitters I met still use Overdrive, but the new program, the new platform is called Libby, L-I-B-B-Y. So I met um, Carolyn of Bloom Handmade Studios and Denise of Earth Tones Girl. And this other woman, um, I think her name is Margaret. She is a, uh, she's a retired professor from Cornell. She's a professor professor of anthropology. We shared all the different audio book titles that we've all been reading. So that was cool too. So that, that if you haven't been to VKL New York, you must attend. So my next big event, I mean, there's so many to attend, but my um, back to New York for Rhinebeck. So that's going to be another biggie uh, where I will see everyone. And my husband's going to go. He's a good yarn husband. In fact, he's wondering where his next sweater is, so I better get knitting on that. Okay, bye!
Thank you.